Emma Blackery is a very popular YouTuber with almost one and a half million subscribers. As all popular YouTubers nowadays, she has a subreddit, which is more or less official and features Emma herself as one of the moderators. What could possibly go towards surreal horror there? Let me explain in this very much improvised episode of quality content, where we will examine the phenomena of Emma Blackery's yellow hair picture. Probably. Because as I'm writing this, I'm actually not sure myself. So, long story short, apart from being a talented singer and an interesting YouTube presence, Emma Blackery is known for changing hairstyles a lot and dyeing her hair. In 2016 she's even made a video on a subject where she proclaimed uh, her arguably worst hairstyle was a short custard colored hair. She expressed regret that she was uh, at award ceremony like this where she presented an award to Japanese band Baby Metal. That is pretty much a prologue. Real story begins on July 4, 2018, as Emma Blacker released an episode of her web series named Content. Hmm. Hmm. It's got to be a coincidence. An episode of her web series Content named This Meme Was Banned in Several Countries. Analyzing memes about her on her own subreddit, she came across quite a few using the exact picture of her with yellow hair she was talking about. The second instance promptly had her suggesting a ban of that picture on Reddit and that's where things turned unexpectedly. Majority of users of em on Emma's subreddit started to use that exact photograph, originally by photographer Joe Hale, as a basis of their memes. Now the situation in itself is a classic case of Streisand effect. Trying to hide something with high effort makes it all the more visible due to the effort. I'm not here however to explain that. As I'm afraid it's hard to top George Rockall Schmidt's video on the subject, a link to which you can find in the description. What made me interested in the situation is how quickly this, it started to look like surreal memes and transitioned from humor to horror. There are several masterpieces that scared me more than a new Nightmind video, but my favorite example gets largely overlooked. Uh, this picture of a corridor named Emma's Nightmare and Reddit was made by Dexy 3 d Modeler, a person who has understanding of how surreal horror works, as evident by their avatar being Lament Configuration, a puzzle box which opens Portal to Hell in Hellraiser by Clive Barker. What works in that picture is not what was used, but more like how it was used. A fearful symmetry. A darkness of unknown at the end of the corridor, preceded by a spot of false hope where, after an area of non-working lights, there is one which doesn't really help much. As for the use of the face and hair, it's, it falls under uncanny valley, because we are not used to see as much faces in succession, bent in a flat way. An unnatural environment which provides for an unease and disturbs a bit. And the reason why it works so well was pretty much summarized by Emma Blackery herself. Uh, that type of yellow as well as lipstick provide for an unnatural look that might have not mixed well with a photo camera to begin with. But there is also another aspect to it. Seeing an unexpected face where they don't exactly belong in general causes distress in many people. With something as easy to manipulate as that image of Emma Blackery, one can achieve a precise level of distress or a cheap jump scare, but really, that could be done with any photograph. Especially since we are also worried about everything being unnaturally still. As an example, my own photographs were used to make horror scenes at least twice by two different filmmakers. And 
And just so you know, as a world's leading expert on appearing awfully on 90% of my photographs, I can say that Emma Blackery's photograph is actually alright.